This is Alex from phpacademy.org with another video for the new Boston. This time we're going to be talking about do while loops. Now we've looked at while loops and this is the previous example that I showed. It basically counts from 1 to 10 and displays hello for each increment or each time the block is executed. Now a do while loop is quite um, is, is very similar except it has one minor difference and that is that we don't check the condition if the condition is true or false. We don't evaluate a condition at the start. We evaluate it at the end. So the do while loop will always run the block once. And if this isn't making sense, I'll show you. It's do while then the condition. So we always execute at least once in here before we test for a condition. So, for an example, let's echo this will always show. Okay? So, while zero. Okay? So, do while zero. Remember in the last example when we did the while loop, I put a zero in and nothing happened because we evaluated it to false, therefore the block here didn't run. Now, do we're going to echo this, then we're going to make an evaluation, and if this this equals false the second time round, we're not going to echo this out. So we can forget about counter for now, that's irrelevant. Uh, let's refresh, and you can see this will always show, because it will always show. However, if we wanted uh, this to display three times, for example, um, we reset up our counter, or we can do it 10 times. So let's break and we can change this to once. This will always show once. So despite what our uh, while thing is, this will always show once. Now let's um, create a condition. So while counter is smaller than or equal to 10, under here we're going to say um, counter plus plus. So we're doing exactly the same thing as we did with the while loop. But while counter is smaller than or equal to 10, this will always show once. Let's refresh. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's shown 10 times. However, if this, uh, if this at any point evaluates to false, we're always going to show the first one. So why is this useful in programming? Like, why would you want to do it? Well, you might not be able to think of an example offhand, but you may have an example, uh, you may come across an example in programming when you're maybe creating uh, something for yourself or someone else, where you think, oh, I, well, I need to show this once and I need to make an evaluation. You're going to be think about the do while loop because you're going to loop still, but you're always going to show at least one thing or a process this block at least once. So that's basically the do while loop in uh, PHP.